Ron. Hey guys, Coming72 here, and I know I've been gone for a little bit of a time, guys, but I decided to take a break for the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, but I am back, and I have a really nice Ace Tanker featuring the Luna today. Hold my horses, guys. I just watched this over again, and I realized I never wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all had a happy Thanksgiving, and if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great weekend anyway, and now that I've gotten that off my chest... Let's get back to the video. Um, the player is Catnip is great, who is in the Zeta squad, and he used the replay system, of course, to record. And I think he does get a little bit fancy. He does get a little bit fancy, so yes. Um, he's in the Louisville, and he finds himself in a tier nine, so he is in the mid-tier matchmaking. So it's nice, good amount of tanks that are his tier, good amount of tanks lower, and then a good amount of tanks higher tier than him. So he's got a lot of opportunity to carry and do good stuff this game. Now, unfortunately for you guys, uh, my mic stand broke because my Blue Yeti was just too heavy. So I no longer have the mic right up in front of my face. I have to put it back in the old Blue Yeti stand. So now um, it's, uh, it's, it's not quite as close to my face. It's on the desk instead of hooked up to my chair right, right there in front of my face. So I apologize for that. Now he's taken up this position here in the Louisville where you can use right, pretty much covering the hill, making sure nobody gets up. And if anyone does, you can shoot them. And yeah. It's a good spot, especially when you have a strong turret and good gun depression, which Lilva has both of. However, already does like shooting to this position and can do some pretty nasty amounts of damage to tanks sitting here because it has nice clean shots. Now, as you can see from his position, he was able to shoot that bulldog as he tried to go up. Um, it looks like somebody shot him with HE, or maybe he bumped the leopard prototype. I didn't see that. But the Lilva's gun has more than enough penetration to penetrate the ISX pretty much anywhere, and he does there. He pens the angled ISX in the side. So, good shot there. Good job shutting him down. Now he puts another shell there into that tank. I can't quite see the tanks. Like I said, it is not like what I said, but I've said before in the past, I do use a smaller screen, so I can't quite tell exactly what he's shooting at, but it is a heavy tank, and I can see that. Um, maybe if he looks at it again, we'll be able to tell what it is. Now the T69 is shooting him from the right, and unfortunately he catches his track, so he does put all four shells into him, knocking him down to 500 health. Unfortunate turn of events there, but the Leopard Prototype does get a little bit of revenge for him and puts in his 105 into the front of that Tier 8 auto-loading American medium tank. Now he's fighting a KV-4, KV-4 does get his gun knocked out. He doesn't know that though, I just realized, I think it's because he's on the replay, it tells him all this. So that's kind of cool. Now I understand in the future they're going to be giving us first person's perspective, so the battle ribbons and the loading indicator and the aiming reticle, that'll be great. And I can't wait for that because that'll also make my life easier too, because whenever I get in the game and some guy does like 9,000 damage on my team or the enemy team, it'll be great having my perspective leading up to when I die or whatever, and then we can watch the other team's perspective or something like that. And it's gonna really come handy and be really, really cool. So that'll be great. Oh, looks like, like I said, he does get a little bit fancy here. He uh, pans up here, trying to get some better angles at the shooting as he puts in. Not that it really matters because you can't really see his line of sight. Now you really can't see his line of sight. Which is why I'm really, really excited about the first person shooting, guys, because that's really... Oh, I'm so excited about that, guys. Your replays are going to be great, and I'm going to be happy, and you're going to be happy. We're all going to be happy. It's going to be a good time, good time. One thing I do like about the uh, the replay system, though, kind of, is it tells you when your guys are getting requested fire at. Like, you can see his tank destroyer up on the hill has been requested to get shot at by the enemy teammate, which is kind of cool. Now, he finds himself against a tortoise who is at full... HP and our friend in the Lilva is not at full HP. He bounces the first shell, Artie shoots at him with the second shell. He gets firing support from his Artie who puts a little shell in. He pulls back, he's trying to pull back, he's not gonna outrun him. The tortoise misses, but the tortoise has like a five and a half second reload. 
So he puts his shell, and the tortoise can now put two shots easily in the lava before he reloads, and which will definitely kill him. How is Catnip going to get out of this? Is he going to get out of this? He charges in, tracks him, the tortoise misses his shell, aims his gun a little bit slowly, maybe a little bit of lag there, or who knows what. Gets behind him. Unfortunately, Lova does not turn fast, and because of that, he can't circle him. So he gets himself stuck on the rock, so now he has to outturn the tortoise, and tortoises do turn quickly, surprisingly. He, his friend gets killed by the Artie. Luckily for our Lova friend, Artie full pens the T28, doing zero damage to Catnip is great. Now, Catnip is great, gets around the tortoise, puts a shell in, puts this dead wreck in between himself and the tortoise. The tortoise's gun is kind of low in the tank, so he has a difficult time shooting over the IS-6. He puts another shell into the commander's hatch, and he gets finished up, off by the Type 5 Heavy. Holy cow, he did not lose a single hit point. Though he did get lucky that the T-28 on his team got full pen by Artie. Because if the Artie splashed the T-28, he would have splashed. Catnip is great. But because he had his rear and engine bay, the shell went in, penetrated, and did no damage to the outside of any tanks around. It only did internal damage and killed him. Now he's going in after, it looks like, a T-25 pilot and a fatherland. How, oh boy, he kind of went in aggressively, did not wait for his team. What's going to happen here? Is he going to die? Is he going to kill these guys? Is he going to survive? What's going to happen? Aiming up at the fatherland, puts a good shell into him. The fatherland comes up over, and the fatherland does in fact aim pretty well and he puts the shell unfortunately into the lower plate of catnip is great he sat there and aimed for about five or six seconds but catnip is great goes into the tracks of the fatherland the bane of is3 is fighting is3 is just hitting their tracks it's pretty true but he bounces the return shell from the fatherland and puts another shell into him the vengeance also bounces his ap shell off of him now he's charging in he was in a pretty good position but I think he knows something we don't. And both tanks bounce off of him again, and he puts another shell into the Fatherland. Does not roll high enough to kill him, but does leave him on 12 HP. And his teammates finish him off. Well played there. Holy cow. Now this is during Veterans Day, I think. I believe so. It was the times 2 credit multiplier with the times 3 XP multiplier. So he makes 477,000 credits and 10,000 experience points. He got his Ace Tanker, did 5,200 damage with 2,200 assisted, 3,000 damage block. So he also gets a Steel Wall Medal. And without premium, he still would have made 400,000 credits. That was a total of 2,259 base experience points. What a game. Anyway guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please slap that like button. If you want to send me any replays, the link to my email is going to be on the screen now. And if you want to join the Discord, it is going to be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Catnip for sending this in. And until then, this is Program72. Take care, and peace out.